Um, good morning guys Nigerians yes um, this is not a Photoshop and this is not an ordinary news however I'm on my way going straight to Port Harcourt for one of my training programs and I want to show you exactly what is going on and the kind of insecurity we are faced with in Nigeria today the problem is much my name is Uluwa Femi Aratokwale, business consultant to Target Set Global Nigeria. We are indeed in a real situation whereby for over three and a half hours we had to stop by. On the moral way we can't get into Imo State so to say, but we have to stay by till around 6.30 to make sure we observe the dogs to dogs curfew been imposed by the um, Imosi government based on the insecurity they are all faced. That's my boss that's taking me down to Port Harcourt. But yes, we have to sleep in the bus. It is really a mess. Is this the kind of country we want to continue? How will our lives look like if we continue to live like this due to insecurity? Or could it be due to um, the nature of miscommunication of or information not being passed across very well by our governments, governors, councillors, legislators, and the rest of them? Thousands of vehicles all over are parked around here. Where is this place, sir? Obienze. We are now currently at Obienze. We are parked here. No movement. Or we the West local government. That is where we are. I don't know what we're going to be doing. I don't know how long it's going to take us. But right now, it's taking us more than necessary time to stay put over here. It is indeed a very serious situation we find ourselves. I love it. It's part of my job. And I'm, I'm not just reporting, but I'm actually experiencing it. Which is one thing I want everybody to really understand. Do we want peace? Or war should be the pathway for the betterment and the growth of Nigeria? I don't really know, but um, I think this is something we all need to talk about. This is something we need to really deliberate on. And ask ourselves a very simple question. Is war necessary in Nigeria today? Well, the answer to everybody is... Um, either yes or no it is really indeed a serious situation we cannot move but we have to wait we cannot move but we have to wait we all want a good nation we all clamor for change but are we considering the fact that when things will start happening war is not going to be part of it or are we looking at it that war should be part of it if war is going to be part of it how is it going to affect us economically financially educationally health wise and all the rest nigerians we can't go on this way africans we have to think nigerian leaders we have to sit down and think do we need peace or we need war do we want war or we want peace why can't we embrace peace rather than embrace war insecurity is indeed a big problem that we are all facing it's sad that we're in this situation but i won't stop i will keep doing what i know how to do best and we'll see how far we can go. Making places safe is not just a word or sentence, or perhaps, or perhaps something I just you know um, picked up from somewhere. I saw them. I thought about it so well, and um, we have to see how it goes. Imo State, as of today, is not under a good condition. Imo State is under serious attack. And we can now see the results of when things are not going down the right way. We will all suffer. 
either your Yoruba, Igbo, Hausa, Christian, Muslim, children, adults, no matter the age, no matter the race, one way or the other, we will all suffer it. Nigerians, please let's embrace peace. Peace is the only way. Either from the north, from the east, south, west. Stop flexing this muzzle of power intoxication. Peace is the only answer. Leaders, let's do it. It's our time. We can't stop this. I'm glad, yes, having this forehand information. I'm glad doing this myself. I'm glad, you know, being in this situation myself. Yes, I'm loving it. I'm enjoying it. It's one of those things that you have to go through. So that you can have a rethink and ask yourself a simple question. Do we do this or we don't? Thank you so much, Nigerians. Thanks a whole lot for having me. Goodbye.